for years on end. I've been roasting football kits from all around the world. Time is up, Theo. This is your moment. Design a new home kit for every Premier League club and I'd take you up on that offer. And I'm going around the house looking for any inspiration I can find. The parrot colour, the Nike tick on my shoes, running round just looking for any inspiration. And I think I've worked it out. I think I've cracked the code into a good looking home shirt. I get on Photoshop, I'm designing, I'm whipping it all up. I've created them. Now it's time to show Thog Dad. Here we go. Go. I, mean, I went away and designed 20 kits. No, you haven't. I tell you what, we've been roasting everyone else's design, so you think you can do better. I've seen too many comments saying, Theo, oh, you can't rank this kit bad. Go and design it yourself. Well, today I am. There's no more hiding. I've made them how I want them. Forget the grading. You're going to love this, Dad. You're going to be grading most A's and B's. So a like would be appreciated. That's all I'm going to say. Wow, you're going to get roasted by me and by the comments. I'm telling you that, kit. You're going to be shocked by how beautiful they are. If you what? put all this work in, like target, you set it this time. I, I will for once, actually. 15,000 likes. And if we hit it, I'll design some away shirts. That would be tasty. Right, Theo, I've not seen any of these kits. Let's start with Arsenal. Take a look at this bad boy. Ooh. That is gorgeous. What I've got there, Thog Dad, is the old Gunners logo. Yeah. The details on the front. The Adidas strikes, the Visit Rwanda on the, on the sides as per usual. I've not gone overboard. Everyone thinks I'm going to go crazy here and do something ridiculous. That is a beautiful Arsenal strip. I'll tell you what, Theo, I wanted to roast you, but that is gorgeous. What I like about that is the cannon. Mm. That's the old logo, isn't it, of it is Arsenal? It is the old logo, yeah. And you've got the Visit Rwanda on the side. You've got the Adidas stripes in white and red. I tell you what, it's hard to beat that. But I'm going to be a little bit harsh. I'm going to say B+. Plus. You're going to give me a B+. Plus. B+. Plus. I think we started well there. I'll take a B+. Plus. Right. Right, Theo, show me Aston Villa. Prepare yourself for Aston Villa. Another retro badge, Castor Ooh. sponsor, which is obviously what they've got for 22-23. Look at the Villa details. Oh, Theo, you know what? I'm waiting for a stinker. And the first two have been very, very nice because this screams Aston Villa. So yeah. that logo you're saying is a retro logo? It's a retro logo. And I wanted to get it detailed in so it looks unique. It, it's got that retro feel, but that modernistic side as well with the blue on the sleeves. You've not gone overboard. Yeah. I like the pattern that is very similar to the Arsenal one in terms of quality. That's another B plus. Another. I'm not getting in the A's yet. Come nah, on, fuck nah, that. Nah. I need to hear it. Okay, Theo, show me Bournemouth. Take a look at this then. Wow. Okay, you've gone with the black and red vertical stripes. I'm seeing that the black stripe is larger. You've got white between the stripes. Little white lines. Yes. And look at the detailing. The cherries logos oh. down the black stripes. Do you see that? Oh, the red. My goodness. Yes. Now that you say it, that is very nice. You've got the 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 sponsor's logo in in the center, haven't you? Do, you do, with a black outline, so it works well with all the lines. And I think, considering it's a Bournemouth kit, you can't go overboard on a home shirt. It's got to yeah. be black, black and red stripes. I think that's beautiful. I think that's very nice. I'm giving you an A-. minus. Oh, okay, I'm into the A's somewhat. I'll take that. Right, Theo, time for Brentford. Take a look at Brentford, Thog Dad, and tell me that's beautiful. Okay, now before you make any comments, we've gone from the white shade on the bottom, we've got the umbro details on the red stripes, and then we've gone a bit of a bit of black outline on the cuffs and around the collar. Tell me your thoughts. Well, it fades away at the bottom, like you say. That's yep. quite clever, but I'm not mad keen on it. What? You've got the sleeve cuffs in black, you've got the collar in black with a I little do. sort of Vickers red thing along the front. Now, of course, it's not your fault, but the Hollywood Bet star, it's got those pubic hairs in the middle. And that's that, not- You can't blame me. No, blame I'm not Brentford. blaming you for that. I think you've done a nice thing there. I'm giving you a B minus. Yeah, okay, I'll take a B minus. I knew this would be my lowest so far. And the next team I believe will be Brighton and Hove Albion. That's correct, Thog Dad, and take a look at this. <laughs> now, I've gone a little bit more nutty. We've seen Atletico do this in previous years. I've taken a bit of experience from that. Look at the smoky blue flying around like it's a an artist. The paint's flying, it's all dripping around. The effort that's gone into this is exquisite. Yes, you're right. It's Atletico Madrid, isn't it, where you've taken that, that mottled effect, isn't it, Theo? Yeah, I get bored of brighter kits when it's just typical blue and white stripes and it's boring. Yeah. You need to mix it up. This is one of my personal favourites. This is a really nice kit, Theo. I like what you've done with this. What am I getting? Come I'm going to give you, again, an A-. An Very A nice. I've got into the A's again. This one's cool. I mean, Brighton fans, let me know in the comments. Would you buy this? And I believe the next team will be Chelsea. Start the big clubs. Here we go. <laughs> I've gone wacky. Now, first of all, Tesla sponsor. They were linked with them. Yeah. Next year, potential move. Apparently, three have extended it. So I'm kind of showing Chelsea fans what could have been. The collar. I've gone with a little white 
area. Whale fin on the side, their new sponsor from next year. A little white outline on the cuffs and look at that design on the front. You can't tell me I've not put effort into this. I'm not sure about that collar thing at the front. It looks like something a nun would wear, Theo. Fuck, oh, Dad, are you mugging me off? Obviously, you've got the Chelsea colours and you've gone with this geometric broken glass yep. pattern. It's interesting, you've gone overboard here, but it doesn't work for me. I'm not wearing this. C minus. No. C minus. You're a mug. I want to hear it from the Chelsea fans in the comments. Do you like that? The next team will be Crystal Palace. Another C team. But will you be ranking it a C like Ooh. you just did for Chelsea? This is simple but nice. It's instead of having the red and blue stripes repetitively, you've got the main red block down the middle with a nice little zigzag design. We're going to zoom in there for you, Thog Dad. A red, white, blue outline on the cuffs. The cinch sponsor, as per usual. Tell me you like this. Well, I, I see the effort that's gone into this there with the zigzaggy pattern. Yep. First of all, the collar cuffs, you've got red, white, and blue at yep. the end. That's a nice little feature. I like that, Theo, and I like the collar. You know I like V-necks. Nice colors, very obviously Crystal Palace. You've got the eagle there. That's a really nice kit. I'm giving you a B plus. I'll take a B plus. Yes. It's not overboard. I can't wait to see that at Selhurst Park. Palace fans, make it happen. Right, the next one I believe will be Everton. Yes, now I based this on a retro Ooh. jersey. Everton fans will be able to tell me the year. It's a little bit mental. Yes. You might not like it, but when you saw the retro shirt, you'd understand what I based it on. It's blue and white of Everton. It's got the yellow lightning coming through the middle. Tell me what you think. Well, first of all, it reminds me of Waves on the River Mersey. And by the way, I'm making this up. I have not seen any of these kits. So this yeah. is the first thing that comes into my head. V-neck collar, very Hummel. nice. Hummel. Blue and white stripes. This is a Hummel shirt. Yeah, down the side. I do actually like that zigzaggy, wavy yellow line. Yeah. Like I said, it reminds me of the, uh, of the Mersey, the naval traditions of Liverpool, the city. You've put a lot of work into this and I, I like it. And we also look back at old kits to make sure that we'd give it some kind of understanding, some reality to the club. And I'm gonna give you an A- minus for this. I think, this wow. I think that's a really good effort. I thought you'd roast me for this. No. And a lot of people in the comments will think, oh, it's, it just doesn't work for me. Even their retro kit did not have the lightning for it. It was my thoughts. Yes. I put it into a real kit. Let's see if the uh, Everson fans in the comment section agree with me. And I believe the next team is Fulham. An all white kit. Ooh. It's Adidas Ooh. sponsored, but I've given it like a, a very light, Grey yes. on the stripes and around the kit on the sponsor. Don't know how the sponsor will say yes to this because he can barely see it. <laughs> but the only thing that's lit up is the FFC from the red of the badge. It's very brave, Theo. It's brave, yeah. FFC, that's the first thing you see is the badge, like you've just said. Do you know what? I don't dislike it, but it's I different. think it's a little bit cycling shirt. I think it's a little bit gym wear. Mm. So it's funny, it's not a football shirt. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a C plus. Okay, I knew I'd get a little bit lower. Some Fulham fans will be angry that there's no black in there. I wanted to mix it up. Let's move on to Leeds United. Leeds United. Tell me what you think about this. You've got the Yorkshire white rose behind the Leeds badge the yellow and blue on the cuffs. Personally, I think I've smashed this. Do you know what, Theo? Okay, it's recognizably Leeds. Now, you've not gone all white, have you? You went all no. white with Fulham. Like what you've done with the rounded collar, you've got yeah. a line of yellow, and then you've got a line of navy blue, you've got the Adidas stripes. What are you grading me, Thog Dead? Come on. I like it, Theo, but it's not white enough. Now, you know, this is a team from Yorkshire. This is the what white do you mean rose. It's, not, it's literally a white kit with it's details. It's grey. There's a lot of grey in there. It's white, Dad. I prefer when it's more white. It's even white rose. That's the design. The I'm backing of it. giving you a B minus for this. Oh, I'm thog sorry, Theo. I thought you'd like that a little bit more, but let's. I don't dislike it. Move Theo. swiftly on to Leicester City. Leicester City. I've gone a little bit more simple. They seem to go with gold as the secondary color a bit more times as of recent. You've got that triangular detail, the gold outline on the badge. Give me your thoughts. You see straight away, Theo, is a lovely blue color. That yep. is the color of Leicester. The badge. It's simple. It's on the left. It's on the. It's on the the heart, isn't it, Theo? Absolutely. All the logos in gold. I like that. This it does remind me of previous Leicester shirts. It is very similar. I've kept it simple. It's a home shirt at the end of the day. I like it a lot, Theo. I'm yeah. going to give you an A minus. Okay, I'll take an A minus. And I believe the next team is Liverpool Football That's correct. Club. Let's move on to the red, Stog Dad. I was there at the Champions League Ooh. final. Here's what I've gone for. The Ooh. red and secondary colour, yellow. I think they've done it in previous years. A lot of people would say, you know, white is yes. sometimes their backup colour. Here's the detailing. You'll never walk alone on the inside of the shirt on the back here. 
and the six stars around the Liverpool yes. logo. The six stars representing the amount of Champions League trophies yes. they've won. I like this a lot, Theo. Really, yeah. First of all, you've stuck with the Liverpool red. You couldn't do anything else, could you? You've gone with a nice pattern. I think it's a bunch of diamonds on the side, isn't it? Yeah. In the background. So two shades of red. This is a really nice shirt. This would sell in the millions. I think this is an A. An this a. is an A. That's my first A. That's your first A, Theo. Oh, it's I'm a very, very nice happy shirt. With that. <laughs> I'm going to move over to Manchester City for their new home shirt, if it was based on me. Take a look at this. I know what you're thinking. What even is that outline? Yeah. It's Manchester. Oh, my goodness. Yep, behind it is Manchester. Oh, my goodness. The kit's goodness. on the front. I've gone with white on the cuffs and the sleeves. It's simple, but also you've got a wacky detail on there, so it's effective. Oh my goodness, you know that our family history is very associated with Manchester, Manchester. with Oldham, etc. Yeah. So immediately, Man City fans are proper Mancunians. They will love that they map. Will. I wanted to give it that Manchester City feel, it's and a, that is in the city. You've gone for white, haven't you, with the V-neck collar and the sleeve cuffs. Yep. I think this is a lovely shirt, and I'm going to give you another A. Come in on! fact, no, I'm going to upgrade, because of the map, A star. I've got an A star. You've got an A I've star. Got an a star. Oh, I love you, Dog Dad. <laughs> what a legend. And comment down below if your house is on the shirt. Right, so of course the next team is Manchester United, the red side of Manchester. The Ooh. Red Rose. The Lancashire Rose, wow. Dog Dad. I've given wow. it a bit of detailing here, and obviously Man United resembles black a lot more. Yes. So on the cuffs and the sleeves is that dark colour with the detail. It gives it that final balance. Yes. Tell me your thoughts. Well, those are the traditional colours of Man United. Red, white and the black. Certainly yep. from my generation. You've gone with that. Yeah, a bunch of roses, Theo. The red rose of Lancashire, which is my county, of course. You've got the white stripes of Adidas on the shoulders. You've got the black rounded collar. This is a very, very nice shirt, You like Theo. it, yeah. And it's another A. I'm, te oh my. I'm giving All you an A. All the big clubs, I'm yeah. getting A's. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm not sure the comments will agree with me. This one's wacky. It's out there, but I thought, you know what? United, also, they're yeah. always very boring with their kits. They keep it very similar. They don't do much with it. Also, the Stone Roses, that's a famous Manchester yeah. band. I'm thinking Roses, Stone Roses, Manchester music. Lovely, that. Newcastle. Whoa. I've gone wacky. The Saudi Arabia sponsor, Castor, a little line of green, which obviously yeah. re represents Saudi Arabia. They've got that a lot on the away kit, but wanted to give it on that home kit feel. Uh, the Newcastle badge is outlined with a bit of black, and it's got that golden feel. And I feel like yeah. the Middle East represents gold, you know? Right, yes. So it's on that kit. Tell me your thoughts. Well, is there, is there a little bit of green there on there the end of, on, on of the, the cuffs? cuffs? Yeah. What's the thought behind the green? Saudi Arabia. Wow. Well thought. You've thought this out there. It's clever, that. The, the Arabic um, script on the front. Yeah. I think the Geordies will like that. Of course. The Newcastle badge, the black and white. You've got the black rounded collar once again. This is good. B plus. I think that deserves at least an A. I'm giving you a B plus. This is one of my best kits, personally. It's Comment down below your favourite so far. Everything's balanced. If Castor yeah. dropped this, it would probably be first place for me. I'm going to go on to Nottingham Forest now. Nottingham Forest. You've got to make it main red with a touch of white. So I've gone with this. Tell me your thoughts. Right, okay, Theo. You've gone with red and white. First thing you see is the Forest badge. I always like the Forest badge. Yeah. Nottingham Forest were a very big team in the 70s, weren't they, Theo? I had an idea yes. of an outline of the Trent Bridge yeah. on the kit. I thought it'd be too nutty. Yes. I, I couldn't really piece it together on the shirt and make the dimensions fit. So I went with a simple white design, which fits nicely with the sponsor with the white outline. It is nice, Theo. You've got, look, that's not my favorite sort of collar. You know that. Oh, collar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, you've gone with that white collar, more of a sort of um, a garment collar than, than, than a, a football shirt. It's not my favorite. It, it's clever design, but I think you've gone a little bit overboard. I'm Maybe not mad keen on the collar. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a C plus for this. A C plus? Yes. I expected one to be low, and this is pretty low. Tell me if people like it though. You know, we've gone with something different. Yes. A unique design for, for the forest. Let's see what they release and compare it to. Let's move over to Southampton. I've gone wacky. Whoa. Big red line down the middle, white on the side. Badge in the middle, yes. Hummel style. Obviously, sportsbet.io, big up the lads from Estonia. Tell me your thoughts. There's a lot of badges there. Now, first of all, there's the Southampton badge, which you know I adore, Theo. I wouldn't say otherwise, would I? Below that, you've got the Hummel. Below that, you've got the sportsbet.io. It's yeah. a bit like a billboard. If they released this, you'd think, what a cool kit. You've got the big red vertical stripe with a sort of black piping to the side. And you've got some detail within the white, haven't you, in grey. I know a lot of work's gone into this. But I'm thinking, bang in the middle, C. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Sorry. I think with the home kit, you like to keep it simple and classic. Tottenham Hotspur. Ooh. I have a feeling you may like this one. It starts with navy, dark blue from yeah. the bottom. A design 
to blend it into the white. You've got the Tottenham cock logo yeah. on the front. Collar, simple. Colour of the home shirt. Come on. Yeah. First of all, recognisably Tottenham. It does look yeah. a bit retro, doesn't it, Theo? Maybe. Well, I'm, I'm Maybe not, the, the detail. That's I, not yeah. a criticism. It does feel a bit retro, but that's a good thing. Okay. You've gone for that that same collar you did with the last one. Yeah. Not my favourite collar, but I'm not going to count that against you. You've got the Nike swoosh, and then you've gone with this kind of a bridge pattern. It's like a bridge to me, yeah. that pattern. I don't know if you intended that. I don't know if there is a bridge. Maybe Tottenham. I didn't intend that. I think I probably just put it on the kit and thought, well, this looks nice. Yeah. But let you me see, know. if that was if that design was within the Newcastle kit, I'd think, okay, time or bridge. Forest, Trent Bridge, yeah. that would have been a good good shout. I think this is a B. Okay, I'll take a B. I'll take a B and we'll swiftly move on. West Ham. Now this is based on another retro shirt yeah. with the blue white stripes not only on the cuffs but also on the shoulders and the WHUFC on the collar. Now I know you don't like yeah. collars but the West Ham fans from the East End do and the detail <laughs> that went into that I hope you like this. The West Ham logo is also fully white outlined and there's a detail of the hammers. You know the hammers that yes, they've got on there? You yes. can see them on the detail on the purple. Yes. On, on the claret. That was very rude of me. I like it, Theo. Again, the colours, you've got the colours spot on. These yep. are the colours of West Ham United. The initials on the colour, I like that. that that's okay. clever. I'll take that. You've got the simplicity of the West Ham badge. This is a very nice kit, Theo. One of your nicest ones. I'm Ooh. giving you an A minus. I'm taking that. I'm taking that straight to the bank. Ooh. Wolverhampton Wanderers. Touches of red, based yeah. on a retro shirt. They've done that quite a few times. Little wavy yellow and black on the cuffs to mix it up do something new black on the shoulders wolves design on the front tell me that isn't nice it is nice and the first thing you see well the first thing you see is the wolves badge the wolf yeah we're in black with the white eyes but then what you see in the design theo is like a hundred other wolves yep. in yellow and orange which i like you like i it? like that yes yeah. a little bit of red on the on the left shoulder for the for the sponsor's logo that's a nice shirt and I'm gonna give you a B plus. You're gonna give me a B a plus. B plus. Off yes. the basis that overall it's decent. Overall, that is a very nice shirt. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you, Thog Dad, for ranking my 20 home kits. And I've got, That's been a lot of I've fun. I've got to say, a lot yeah. of what you did there is better than the professionals. That's interesting. Yeah. To conclude, out of all the kits you've seen and all the home kits you've seen in the Premier League released by people that spend thousands and thousands, and by the way, hours as well. How many of them are probably better than what you've seen from the marketing teams of the Premier League clubs? Well, especially the Manchester kits. I yep. think they would sell globally in the millions. I wanted to put that extra piece of evidence yes. for, the, for the biggest clubs, yes. and that's why I did that. Manchester City, Liverpool, Man United, I think, yeah, you put a lot of effort into the big clubs and you got it spot on. Well, my personal favourite is, like I said, I, I like Leeds United, yes. Newcastle, Everton because of the touch that to the retro kit. Overall, I mean, look, I spent two days sitting down with a graphic <laughs> designer, telling them exactly how I want it and putting it on a screen for you boys. I want to see people out there in the comments saying, I prefer this to our kit this year or what's your favorite, what's your worst? I may have had a stinky, well, you rented me a few all seasons. I can say is if you like it, yeah. send it to your club and say, we want a Thogged and Limited Edition, all the money going to charity. Good shout, good shout, that's good thinking. Do you know, Theo, there weren't any stinkers. I thought Fulham was a little bit basic. Oh, okay. Let us know in the comments the best and worst kits. I'm gonna wrap it up. 15,000 likes and maybe we'll do an away kit version, depending on whether you enjoyed this. We could do any league, we could do European version. Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. See ya. Thog Artist is out.